what is up Tittle Nation it's your boy and I'm back and today I'm bringing you guys my first Madden 25 video and oh uh, it's been such a long time since I've uploaded guys I apologize I've had school and um, I've also had football football hasn't been working out for me lately uh, I'll get into that later in the video but I just want to say what's up how are you guys doing I haven't seen or uh, uploaded a video for you guys in what seems like forever at least for me anyway I don't know if you guys have noticed that I've been gone hopefully you have because if you have that means you're subscribed to me and you've actually checked in on my channel every once in a while for those of you that have stuck around thank you for those of you who left fuck you <laughs> it's plain and simple anyway um, the reason I've been gone so long is one like I said in my last video that I uploaded um, football is taken up a big portion of my life especially with uh, like camp we have camp all through August almost and most of September and September uh, it's also when school starts so it's just a lot going on trying to get projects knocked out of the way trying to keep up with school work uh, keep the grades up because if you want to get into college you got to have good grades for all those kids out there who slack off in school start doing better especially if you want to do something later on in life college is very important and you lay basically in high school you were laying the groundwork for your high school yeah, for your college uh, career and also for your professional career when you get older and you get a job. Um, so anyway, yeah, so school took up a big portion of September, but in September, uh, I guess I should start from the beginning. All through August is, was during camp, and um, I was actually the only sophomore. See, the way my school does it is fresh, freshman year, um, they won't let you play JV or varsity. You have to play for the freshman team. And it's just, I guess that's the way that our conference does it. We're in the Pac-10s. Um, so, yeah, there's a freshman team. You have to play for the freshman team. The only exception is if, um, let's say, like, there was a shortage of players higher up, then maybe you would get bumped. But we've always we've always had a decent show up for football. So, last year, ninth grade, I played ninth grade, was a starter, until I broke my ankle and was out. Anyway, this year in camp, uh, I was the only sophomore that was getting reps on offense and defense in general. I was the only sophomore getting reps. And the coaches were really liking what I was putting out and showing. And to make a long story short, towards the end of camp, I had won over the starting position at center. And the center, who had played the year before, was a sophomore and was actually getting looked at by colleges. He's probably one of the best linemen that we've had in a while at, P at our high school PV. And I ended up getting him bumped out, and he was moved out to right tackle, and they were going to move me into center. And I actually played... I managed to play one scrimmage at starting uh, varsity, and then that uh, that whole week and the week before that scrimmage, um, I hadn't been feeling well. I knew something was wrong. Um, needless to say, I didn't come into camp in the greatest of shape of my life. But it was like it was. I was tired all the time, and I wasn't eating as much as I should be. Uh, I was dehydrated, dizzy. Um, just a lot of stuff from running four days. And the second week is when, like the first week that was understandable, mainly because I, I came in this, like, into camp out of shape. You got to get whooped back into shape. So the first week when that was happening, I was like, eh, it's just getting back into shape. Second week when it started happening, I was like, all right, something's wrong here. It's never taken me this long to get whipped into shape. There's something going wrong. Uh, anyway, long story short, I ended up going to the doctors, and they test me for a couple different things. I get some blood work done. Uh, nothing comes back, so I play in the first scrimmage. I did great. Coaches loved it. Um, I was locked in for starter for the rest of the season. I was starting varsity on the roster all the way for the rest of the season as far as they could see. About three or four days after the scrimmage, um, I ended up going back into the doctors because wanted, they wanted to do some more tests and more blood work. And about three or four days after that, now all the, all the meanwhile, I've been sitting out from practice because I didn't know what it was, and the doctors told me that they wanted me to sit out until they found out what it was. It ends up being mono. And um, my season as of right now, or ha as, of, as of for the rest of the season, or since that first week in September, uh, has been over. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it was kind of crushing, especially knowing that I was the, going to be the only sophomore uh, that would be playing varsity. That's like a big thing in our school is because there's not many sophomores that are able to do it. Uh, like I said, because there's a lot of people that come out for the football team every year. So that was something that was taken away from me and all the hard work I put in over the summer and all the hard work and on 
August, sweating it out, coming to uh, camp every day and just busting your ass, just went right down uh, the poop chute in a matter of a couple minutes. And then the scary thing is, I don't even know how I got it. I've been with the same girl um, for almost forever now. It's almost been a year or so. So I know I didn't get it from her. Um, the only two things I can think of is either somebody at camp had it or was just getting over it and sipped on the water and got their lips on it and spread it that way or some fr uh, freak of nature, I don't know, freak of nature, some shit happened and I uh, got it that way. But anyway, I've been fighting that for the past month. Um, just I've been too tired to really do anything. It's hard enough trying to keep up with school. Uh, let alone try and make YouTube videos and let alone try and play football. So I haven't played football in almost a month, so that's killing me. And school's been a pain in the ass to try and keep up with. Um, but I'm getting by. That's, hey, keep on trucking through. Uh, I always got next year. It was, my only, it was only my sophomore year. Uh, I think I still got two more good years of college, uh, high school football in me before college. Uh, hopefully I'll get a full ride for college and all that good, uh, good jams and stuff. Did I really just say jams? Yeah, I just did say jams. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, so, yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to. I'm already looking forward to next season. I get a fresh, clean slate. And I actually haven't played a full season of football in two years. Um, last year, like I said, broke my ankle. Uh, actually, I broke my ankle the first week of the season, and I ended up playing another three weeks before the doctor finally told me if I play another game, I'm really going to fuck up my ankle to the point where I won't be able to play it again. So I played <laughs> four games on a broken ankle and still managed to hold the starting spot. So um, I don't mean to brag, but I do think I'm um, pretty good. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I, uh, I play center. That's my main position, or at least that was going to be my main position this year, uh, offensive center. On defense, I play Mike, uh, linebacker, and our school runs a 3-5. So the Mike linebacker is normally the bigger uh, – He's almost like another line, defensive lineman in a way, where we're almost always blitzing him. Um, so, and they're uh, what do you call it? I'm being moved down. I'm bleh, I'm moving down to defensive uh, line this coming year. So, uh, for those of you who play defensive line, hit me up. Uh, if any of you guys play offensive line, hit me up again. And um, for all you run, you, like the running backs and the quarterbacks and all that shit um, on your teams, make sure you give you guys uh, make sure you give your uh, big guys some loving. <laughs> that just came off as really gay, no homo. But um, they're really what gets the team. They're what's they're what lets you makes you win games and what can also lose you games. Anything goes wrong, it's the Lions' fault. If anything goes right, they get no credit. So make sure you guys uh, appreciate and um, just love your line. <laughs> For any running backs, quarterbacks, love your line because they're the ones that are going to be keeping you safe and protecting your uh, scrawny ass down in the trenches. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is my first Madden 25 video, and I do have a lot more lined up coming. I have been playing Madden uh, while I've had mono. Like I said, I've had a lot of downtime not being able to play football and keeping up with schoolwork. So I sleep for a couple hours, get up, do homework, get on Madden for a little bit, play a game or two. So, uh, yeah, that's been fun, I guess. I mean, I, I think it'd still be more fun to play football, but what can you do? And this was actually, I believe, my second or third game actually playing online. The first two, uh, I think, were actually with friends that wanted to play. So uh, besides that, I've been labbing a lot. And like I said, I do have a lot of a lot more games lined up behind this. And if you guys haven't, if you guys have actually been watching the video, you should. Uh, I think you guys saw the one fourth down stop I had. And this one right here, this is what can win us the game. And we come in and we get the stop. Let's go. We balling out here. So we get two stops on fourth down in the red zone this game. So that was huge. And we end up uh, escaping or skating out of here. Spoiler alert. We end up winning this 17-14. Uh, to 14. We end up uh, escaping this game. And this is probably the lowest uh, scoring game I've had in Madden 25 this year. And when I first played this, I was like, damn, are these games really going to be this close and this low scoring? I was like, I don't know. What's up? Is this just the way the game's going to be? Defense is playing pretty stout, but I found out as the games went on that uh, it was a little different, and I just sucked this game, and my opponent wasn't all that great. But anyway, we ended up getting the win here. Uh, nothing too fancy, just plain old win. Uh, it was pretty close at the end, but we ended up getting the win. So uh, I'll have another video uh, coming up for you guys pretty soon. 
Uh, so hopefully you stay tuned for that. And if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, Total Nation, I'll see you later.